Uh, welcome to IFC 2021. I'm uh, Admiral Lord West of Spithead. Uh, there is no doubt that the uh, terrorists of uh, various persuasions who threaten our way of life um, have gained succor from the, the collapse of the uh, government in Afghanistan. But the disparate groups are much smaller little groupings, making it much harder for our agencies actually to monitor and spot what's happening. That really worries me. It's very interesting to try and assess um, what the terrorists have been doing and thinking um, during the period of the COVID pandemic. Making a clear assessment of what the increased threat or decreased threat is, is very, very difficult. What is quite clear is that they have still been pushing and trying to attempt attacks, but I don't know whether we're going to find this less or greater. I think now that the pandemic's over, I think they'll be rallying, and with the effects of Afghanistan as well, I think we may well see an increase in attempted terror attacks. Well, I think there's an element of wait and see here. Um, the Taliban would be very stupid to reconstitute training camps on the scale that they were there prior to 9-11. There's no doubt that a lot of terrorists are now flocking into Afghanistan because they think it's a haven for them. But I think the Taliban need to be careful. If they don't allow them to do that, then I think the threat becomes more that the terrorists around the world have been encouraged by what they see as the failure of America, failure of the West to actually confront them. They think they've won. And these disparate groups around the world, wherever they be, will be trying to have a go at us. And I think therefore that does worry me. And I think that the results of Afghanistan could well be a surge in attacks, probably small attacks, but from a disparate, disparate groups, very difficult for us to actually get a handle on. There's no doubt that cyber is a huge threat to us all. Uh, we're becoming more and more reliant on digital systems, more and more reliant on interconnectivity. These have done great things for us. It's been very useful to us. It's, in, it's made us wealthier. It's given us much better capability of talking and things like this, but it makes us vulnerable. And there's no doubt those who wish to do us harm, the growth in their ability to attack our systems and things is growing exponentially. Now, we've done very well, particularly in the UK. I mean, GCHQ is a fantastic organization and the NCSC has done some wonderful work, but there is no doubt there are some serious players causing us difficulty. This is all very worrying. It is, it is a real concern. We've put huge effort into it. We need to put more effort into it. It keeps growing. I think we're probably at the cutting edge of countries around the world encountering this, but you can't rest on your laurels. And we've got to keep up with this exponential growth. And it means that we all need to understand the threat, understand where it's coming from, understand how we can counter it. And that's why this cyber element of this uh, expo is so important, because it impinges on everything else. It touches into every other area as we become more and more reliant on digital systems. When we go to uh, you know, 5G, for example, it will be even more so the Internet of Things. You know, there are real, real concerns about the damage that criminals and hostile states can cause to our nations. I think getting people together and doing this will be good for our security, very good for all the firms concerned, and I think we will get a huge deal out of it.